a lot of concern for travelers hitting the highways and the airports over the next day or so. With warnings for half of the state on Thanksgiving Eve, people are worried their flights may not make it off the ground. News 8's Bob Wilson is talking to travelers at Bradley International. He joins us live with what they are saying tonight. There's going to be a lot of delays, I bet, Bob. You know, right now people are pretty excited, actually. In good moods, holiday travelers here. Take a look at the lines. Well-oiled machine. Not many people in this line going out. That's a good sign. Easy to catch a plane coming back in. Happy travelers. They beat the storm. All smiles. And it was a long day for some of the travelers, and they were keeping their fingers crossed because some of them had to fly around the storm, through the storm, by the storm. But most of the people we talked to say they got here, they're happy, wheels on the ground, smiles on the faces. And there were some close calls, too. People said they knew they were going to be flying towards the storm, and they saw it. I watched us fly into the nor'easter, like the bank of the cloud. It was the oncoming of the abyss, and it was kind of cool. So you saw it, and you said, wow, good thing I'm beating that. Yeah. My brother is traveling in tomorrow from South Carolina. He's going to have it tough. Now, the idea is, is to call the airport or even check in with the airlines to see if you can move your flight up maybe to tonight or first thing in the morning because once that snow starts to fly here, they say they will be open. They have great snow removal. However, the problem is the other airports, the sooner you get out, the better you are. And it's better to spend a half an hour online trying to change your flight than half the day stuck in an airport or on a runway somewhere. Now